this week on The Choice. We are about to get into the mother load, my friend. Woo! Holy catfish! That's a ride. I shot him and I dropped him. Welcome this week's The Choice. And this week, well, The Choice is a couple things. One, heading down to Florida to hunt yeah. with George Stern. Yeah, and Stern, Stern dog, dog hunts. hunts. Yep. And I mean, we're having fun hunting chasing some quail. Well, well, yeah, we're, well, let's just say we're, 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 we're a lot of lead flying and not much dying. But we're trying. We are trying. I mean, you gotta give us some We credit. really are. You know, we, we had a, a whole group, Hoppy, the boys, Sage Case. Um, all of us were down there. Kevin, we're having Trump, a blast. All of us, and we're just, Man, we're doing what we do. Just but then, having fun. But then after that, then yes. we're going to go do some hog hunting down hog there. Hog hunting with your Hoyts. Yeah. yeah, Aubrey and I are up with our Hoyts, so let's see how this goes. we got lots to share. Let's get going, yes, shall we? So roll that bird footage. And we need more ammo. Just saying. Welcome to Heritage Hunt Club. My name is George Sterner owner and operator of Stern Dog Hunts. Today you're on a Stern Dog Quail Hunt. I am so thankful you guys are here today. <laughs> I brought a guy with me today. His name's Chuck Vandehei. This is Chuck. He's guiding with me today. Chuck has been with me since I started this operation. Him and I, we literally built all the infrastructure together and we run a really good hunt today. We are trying to put on a show that has never been seen before as far as volume of birds. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, we have a hunt put together for you. Oh, we're going to have fun. We are going to see every one of our quail fields today. We're going to move through them. We're going to see lots and lots of birds. As long as we stay together, work together, keep it safe, we're going to have a lot of fun. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Turned into a pretty nice little dog. Well, we're here for our second annual quail hunt. We've got it set up this year. Not only do we have the pointers, we have some flushers with us, and George has promised us a really good quail hunt. We need to be on our game. I need to actually hit some birds this year, more than I did last year. And um, they're promised me plenty of shots, so hopefully that's what happens. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of shells flying and not a lot dying. Get him, Cricket. Here we go. Whoa, Ringo. Get him, Cricket. All right, we got a point right there, guys. Get him, Cricket. Over you go. There you go. Yeah, it burned. Nice job. Cricket here. Stop. Cricket here. Drop. Flying hog finds an acre Come every on. now and then. Come on. Come Here we go. Get him, Cricket. It's an extra full choke, just so you know. Get him, Cricket. Bird coming out, get ready. Bird, bird down, bird down. Woo! Hey, come on. I got one. Got one. <laughs> I want to make sure you guys saw that. I did get one. Come, Ringo. Bring me that bird. Come. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll keep moving. We'll go find more. You know they talk when you when you read the old old hunting magazines. You know it's the history and the gentleman's hunt of quail. And, and right. I mean, literally, we've reversed that because it's the family's hunt for quail. <laughs> you know, and with George and, and everybody and the, and the phenomenal dogs, it just makes for a fun day. Well, let's work right up here. There's a big old covey that likes to hang up right at the end of these pines. <laughs> don't shoot the guy. Don't shoot the dogs. And don't shoot each other. Everyone ready? Jim Cricket. No bird. Cricket, come. Here. And and George has trained his dogs so well, and he had so many of them with us. Oh, yeah. Because so, it was hot, you know, and he has well, to go and he, change he them out. He knows how to change them out. You know, they got a drink. You got to pause. All right, bird, bird. Bird out. <laughs> Ringo pointed again, guys. We got more. Sit. Ready, killer? Get him, Cricket. Here we go. 
my there god. Go. Bet. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Nice job. <laughs> This is just something that you can do on a day, a morning hunt or an afternoon, and just have a blast and do it with everybody. And you know, you have a bunch of guns out there, you have everybody, you know, being safe and, yep. and just having a good time and filling a cooler up with fresh quail. Jim Cricket. Was shooting the quails out of the skies. His dimes. His dimes. Well, heck, we had a nice rise out of there, everybody. That was beautiful. Woo! Good job, big guy. Good boy. Good boy. Ringo's a champ. See, that's one thing you gotta remember. The dog always knows better than you. <laughs> this is what it's about, you know what I mean? You go out and shoot a couple birds by yourself, what's the fun of that? Oh, you can stay here and laugh at people. Oh. But you're but but I'm gonna tell you something you know we did this last year was the first time coming here with George and everybody again this year thanks to the wounded warrior outdoors and you know I, I mean we got Kevin we got Trom Hoppy yeah. RJ Vic this I mean, is what it's about it's the camaraderie the fun you know we're all laughing and watching dogs incredible dogs work huh yeah even I mean, in this just... heat yeah, and that's why they have so many dogs in these, yep. in the kennels in the back of the buggies. And you know what? I think everyone's taking a break now. We'll drink some water, cool down. After the crew took a short break, it was time to meet some of the other dogs in the hunt. This is my youngest cocker that I have. Her name is Bugs. Bugs is five and a half months old, and she's a crazy little nut about quail. She doesn't listen so good yet. But she loves quail and she'll do a great job of uh, flushing them out for us. Likes to retrieve them also, but she's got a, a huge heart for as young as what she is. I'm real, real happy with her. Now George, his dogs are just beautiful and they work so well. Oh yeah, here we go Woo! guys. We got the baby dog. We got the puppy. One of the great things about going out quail hunting besides having the food afterwards, having those, those quail breasts for dinner is being able to actually just watch the dogs. Oh, yeah. And a girl. Here. Good girl. Good girl. And that's part of the amazement of hunting with dogs. What, you know what I mean? Whether you're bird on no matter what you're doing, is enjoy and witness what true, excellent dogs can do. Because I'll tell you what, that is part of the event. That's a big part of the actual hunt. This is a camp favorite. We've watched this pup grow up since it was two inches high. You got it, buddy. Here Get him, bugs. Go, guys. Get him, bugs. There it goes. Get him, Mark. I almost had a feeling like you didn't think the little dog was going to put the bird in the yeah, air. Yeah, man. Oh, you let my dog down. Get him, bugs. Here. <laughs> Get him, bugs. All right, guys. Here we go. Bird's coming out. Nice shot! Nice shot! <laughs> Bugs here! Come, come, come! Atta girl! <laughs> Atta girl! <laughs> All right, guys, that's probably it for this spot right here. It's amazing to watch these dogs work. Really, it's more. It's cooler to watch that and just see what they do. And you're thinking all this heat and everything. Pretty awesome. Bugs kennel. Kennel up. So this is all we got to show. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We suck. And I highly recommend practice. Yes. Practice. 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 Because maybe we haven't practiced enough. We, we probably need to practice Yeah, more. we need to throw those clay birds up on high speed and, you know, just try to shoot them. Because, yeah, there's a whole lot of lead up in the air. I double teamed on that one. Here. See, I keep Kevin on my side, so it may, he makes me look good. We shoot at the same time. He hits, I probably miss, but they think it's me hitting. It's not a big deal, shoot a quail out of the sky. What's the problem? 
We are about to get into the mother load, my friend. Two birds. Get him, Gas. Yes, sir. That bird's dead. Nice job. Nice. All right. Woo! They're coming out now, baby. Point right there. Whoop. Whoa, there we go. Yeah. Bring me the bird, baby. Thank you. Hop, I got one. Good girl, good girl, good doggy. Here, girl. That's a good one. Good job. Hi, good job. Thank you for following up good on that job, one for me. You. I appreciate it. Nope, that was Kevin taking that one now. Here, hold. There you go. Good, good, good job. Boy. Here we go. Nice shot, Ralph Woo. and Vicky. Team effort. Woo. Get him, Cricket. Get him, Whoa, Jack. Bird out! Yeah, there's another! Bird's coming out! Bird's coming out! Here. Oh. More coming up, baby! Woo! Holy catfish! That's a rise. Kettle. Hold. Good boy. Good boy. Here's another Here's one. Here's another one. Gotta All love right. them cockers. <laughs> They're retrieving machines. Well, that Ooh. was a good cover to end on. Yes, sir. Add it, girl. Here. Well, that was Bugs' best performance of the day. Good job, little dog. All right. That's the end of the hunt, gang. Thank you so much for having us. Pretty hot and sweaty right now. Just saying. Okay. We're in here. That was awesome. You're the dogs did awesome, and we've got some quail for dinner. Oh, yeah. We got a good <laughs> haul. All in all, we had an amazing day with George and his dogs. And I mean, we we actually did get quite a few quail. We did. We, we did. We, had, we, you we know. had our brownings out there, and we had a blast. And we can't wait to get back, George. You guys over there at Stern Dog Hunts, we can't wait to come back and hunt quail with you again. Thank you, guys. Enough with the quail. Enough yeah. with the birds. Let's go it's hog hunting. Time to go hog hunting. So we're headed out hog hunting. Vicky's up. She's in the back seat. Hi. What you got going on back there, Vicky? Are you putting on your makeup? Um, no, I was actually putting my gloves on. Because, you know, I always have to hunt with my gloves so on. We're going so we're going hog hunting. So Vicky wanted to shoot a hog with her bow. We went down, took a uh, took a ride, spotted some hogs. You know, one of the things Hoppy's always told us, when after a rain, get out there. Absolutely. Because, you you know, you, those hogs are going to come out of the swamps. And it's sure cool. enough, he was right as usual. You know what I mean? Here they come. And, and I mean, that first encounter, we it was almost going to happen. I hate to jinx ourselves, but there's no cattle. The wind's right. We got cover. Let's go see if we can get it. We saw a big black boar out along right in the pasture there, and it was go time. Get out of the truck and get busy. Just gonna have to wait for him to go around that corner or something. We don't have any cover. Or you take a 30 yard shot. You wanna wait? Yeah. And where was he feeding? Remember? In the grass field. What grass? Bahia. There you go, see? We learned another Bahia grass. What they do is when it's up there, they come and they just, they squirt and gr or they, they grab it and they run it through their mouth and they get all the seed right there. Bahia grass is the trick. Well, unfortunately, he won. the hog went in. I mean, we had three of us trying to go through a, a barbed wire fence. The wind actually wasn't too bad, but it did swirl it did at the last swirl. minute. It did swirl, yep, it did. Yep. And, yeah, and, and don't kid yourself, you know, when you people talk about wild hogs, you're thinking, oh, is it, it's not a challenge. Go for it. Yeah. You're gonna find out that everything that has to be in your favor needs to be in your favor to make that count. Rats. You know, I, on Vicky's hunt was really a, a telltale Typical hog hunt. Yeah. They're, they're feeding, they're, they come out of the swamp, they come out of that whole bedding area, they get up on these two tracks and they just follow the two tracks and then they cut in to go to the next swamp and then just so on and so forth. It's just a pig's life. Yes, <laughs> and we spot this little herd 
Yeah, we saw a bunch of little, a bunch of pigs, a bunch of hogs out there, and they were all sizes. Yep, they were. And right away, we stopped, we went out, we did a stalk. Wind just, we felt a little bit of the wind hit our back. All those piggies just take off. No, 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 no. Get ready to draw. <laughs> Look at all the hogs around. <laughs> We tried to walk up, that wind swirled, hit us in the neck, we're back, we're heading back to the truck. Yep. We're heading back, it, the hunt's over. We turn around and there's a black hawk coming back out. So away we go, one more time after this hog. Hop starts making these grunt noises. And he's gone. Trying to make it like the, there's other hogs around eating. Yep. I started doing a little bit of grunting and making some hog sounds. It's so funny. It's so crazy to watch him do that. But anyways, it worked. Here this comes black hog comes around the bush. I'm full draw. It wasn't 10 yards? Yeah, maybe. May maybe 10 yards. Vicky comes to full draw. Hog steps out. I didn't think she was going to get the shot. But it turned just enough that she was able to sneak an arrow in there and made a perfect shot on this hog. And I pinned him. He didn't go anywhere. Oh, no. He ran about 15 yards and piled up. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we didn't see it go anywhere. It's right there. <laughs> yes. Right right there. I thought it looked like a good hit. So did I. <laughs> Another piggy down. Nice. Nice got us a nice hog. We've got awesome. some fresh pork to take home. Woo, woo. Good healthy one too. Thanks, Hop. Mm -hmm. Appreciate welcome. it. Well, girl, Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> We've created a monster. We've created a monster. You know what? She gets her first hog earlier in the season with her Hoyt. Yep. Her first bow kill. She's excited. She, we, she can't stand it. Well, we go back down to Hoppies, and she's got to just continue on. She's, she's a hunter, and she loves it. And now to watch her, her and RJ growing together, you, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's and so much fun. And doing this is just the tradition is alive. So we're down here in Florida and we're hunting hogs. So I'm going out with my Hoyt and I'm excited. So we're out there looking for the hogs with Case and everyone. And we come up on this group and they're out in this little pasture. And Case is like, okay, get your stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna try and get these. And the grass is pretty tall. So we're able to crouch down pretty low and sneak up on them. We get about 25 yards from this one hog. I'm like, hey, Aubrey, it's 25 yards. Go ahead, draw your bow. And when I tell you to, shoot. Was that low? A little low, but that's okay. Okay. I missed. It was way, too, it was too low, unfortunately. But I told her, hey, you know, we'll come back tomorrow. Maybe this group will be back out in this field again. They didn't seem too spooked with us. So the next day, Case is taking us out again, and we go in about the same spot, and we get up on this group of hogs. I look over, and there's the group of hogs again. And I said, Aubrey, grab your bow. We're going to get one this time. There's so many of them. They, every single one's got their eyes up looking. So we get up on these hogs and he ranged them at 20. You think you can take him, take him. That's his shoulder in the opening. Okay. <laughs> I just shot him and I dropped him. Good shot. Thank you. So we go up and we recover my hog. And let me tell you, that is a perfect meat hog. I can't wait to eat him. I just want to say thank you, Case, Hoppy, Sage, everyone else, Ralph, Vicky, RJ, Eddie, for everything, for letting me just be down here and hunt these hogs, because let me tell you, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. 
Now that was fun. That was fun. And you talk about, you know, going down to Florida and having amusements. Well, we found the best amusements in Florida. Yeah, and so good Hog tasting. Hunting, quail. Quail wrapped in bacon and stuff like that. From the bacon I mean, from the piggies you shot. I mean, what an amazing trip. It was fun. Aubrey, congrats on her piggy. Oh, yeah, you guys I rocked mean, it as we usual. We had so much fun down there. And I mean, seriously, thanks for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week.